Welcome to the Hannover Messe 2023 and welcome to the Delta booth today. I would like to introduce you to the power behind Delta and the people working at the booth. At this year's Hannover Fair, we are not only talking about our cutting edge solutions, we are also talking about the brightest and best minds we are having at Delta. So in this morning again, I can see and smell a bit of a coffee. Let us see where I can find this coffee for me today. Hi, Vladimir. Welcome. Hello, Denise. Can you tell me more a bit uh, how I can get this nice coffee and where? Well, I would gladly offer you some coffee, but you know, I would much rather let our coffee robot here do it for me. You know, if, we, if you work as an engineer for many years, you develop a sort of professional defect in that you start to see possibilities to automate almost everywhere you look. And, you know, here at Hanover Messe, we meet with a lot of colleagues from all over the world. And we think, hmm, how difficult can it be to automate this process of serving coffee? So we just take a simple Delta robot and combine it with an AX8 motion controller. Uh, put this together on this nice HMI uh, DOP series, which controls everything. And then we take also uh, the ASDA series um, in order to uh, uh, feed the, the paper cups and this area sensor to detect when somebody is um, putting their hand through. And finally, tie everything together uh, with the um, uh, Ethernet, with the Delta Ethernet switch. Vladimir, I see my coffee is ready there. Can I just grab it? Yes, please go ahead. And I have one more question I would like to know from you. Um, how much effort and focus does Delta spend into designing such cool products like, like this robot? Well, if we refer strictly to this cool robot, then it's really only utilizing a tiny fraction of the total capability that is inside these products. But if we refer to Delta products or the Delta solutions that you see exhibited uh, in this booth, then we're really talking about many, many years of research and development of combining the expertise of many uh, different uh, engineers across many different fields. Uh, it's not just a matter of um, following market trends. Actually, what we do is we talk to our customer base. We try to understand their application requirements. What are their pain points? And then try to figure out what is the correct direction in which our technological development uh, needs to go. Very, very interesting. And thank you for bringing me this nice coffee. You are Let welcome. Let me enjoy it and I will walk over and find some more colleagues at our booth in Hall 11. Hi, Ernesto. Hello. Yeah, Hello, I found you at the booth. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. I just talked uh, to Vladimir and he talked about the great innovative and smart technologies we have at Delta. Yeah. And now I just wonder if you can tell me more about that. Yeah, sure. Well, we are living in a more and more technological world. So for sure, for an industrial automation leading uh, manufacturer like Delta, it's a must to invest in all those market trends uh, to be aligned with the industry demands, such as uh, big data, digital twin, smart manufacturing, 5G, uh, IAOT, and so on. Uh, in fact, we are showing here at the Hanover exhibition different examples uh, related with this, uh, like this uh, PLC IAOT AS300 series. Uh, also, we are showing our energy management, management system uh, based in our BT SCADA. Also, we are showing uh, close to here all related motion controllers, code acid based, which is able to, to face any kind of machinery application and also different kind of warehouse solutions and so on. So I learned already that we have a lot of people from different countries and very global company as well. Um, so how is the collaboration with the team members? Can you tell me more about that? Well, sure, absolutely. Uh, in my opinion, uh, people makes the difference. People makes the, the companies, okay? So teamwork is one of the five elements in the Delta culture corporates. 
uh, and for really sure, uh, it's really amazing to see all the people uh, co-working each other and rowing in the same direction. Because as a sales manager, we are working with different kind of positions, customer support, technical, finance, and so on. And this makes really success. Also remind this sentence, eh? if you go to go fast, go alone, but if you want to go far, go together. So I think this is really absolutely a must for our team. I would like now to walk more and further and see if we find other colleagues at our Delta booth. So please join me. I think Jochen should be somewhere around here. Let's see. Ah, Jochen. Hi, how are you? Hi, Denise. Yeah, I'm good. Thank you very much. It's a great show here. Thank you. I heard a lot about our innovative solutions at Delta's booth. And I can see we have this charger over here. Yeah, today we brought our wireless charger. It's a new inductive charging technology to enable autonomous robots and automatic uh, machines to charge without any um, manual charging. So this is very easy. We have plates that can be connected. We have integrated this here into this robot. As soon as we come close to the charging station, it will charge automatically and the robot can control the charging by himself. Nobody has to touch, it's very easy. I think when you mentioned wireless, I heard that my mobile can also do wireless charging. Is it possible that I just leave my mobile for a second? You can take the space of my oh. cradle. We have prepared this here. Perfect, I can see already yes. it's working so now. So Delta charge everything. <laughs> With high efficiency, 93%. This saves a lot of energy. Very good. And additionally, I wanted to ask you um, how it's like working at Delta and how is the collaboration with your team and the teamwork and where are you located at Delta? Can you tell me more? Ah, yes. We are located in the southwest of Germany in the Black Forest area. We have a very small, effective team in the sales, in the product management, in the R&D. So we are working together in one location very effectively, have a very close contact to our European production sites. And this gives a very effective working. So we are proud to contrib contribute the um, energy saving aims and targets of Delta. So this is very, very um, sustainable work that we're doing. Thank you very much and very interesting. So I'm going to have my mobile with me again. Absolutely. Come <laughs> and back. See you soon. Bye-bye, bye, Denise. Bye-bye. I heard we also have some fun game this year at Hannover Messe. Hello, Denise. How are you? Hello, Andrea. I heard you doing your internship at Delta this year and helped to create this nice fun game. Yes, thanks for your support and thanks for the support of my uh, other colleagues. We create this fun game that of course can help the people to recognize uh, all of the solution and application that we have here in Another Mass 2023 in our booth. And also can uh, give the opportunity to the customers to have fun and enjoy, enjoy this uh, incredible fair in Germany. It sounds very, very interesting. And I also know that you design completely all the cards and all these, let's say, nice geek on site on top of it. Can you describe a bit about your background, what you are studying also? Of course, of course. Uh, I studied design previously, uh, graphic and product design in Italy, and then I moved to Netherlands for my intern. And uh, about this game uh, was a really nice opportunity because uh, I started to create the cars by, my by myself. Then afterwards, uh, thanks to the support to everyone and the feedback from everyone, we increased the level and the quality of every cars. And uh, now I'm really surprised because the game is ready and you can see all of the booth here in another mess. And uh, it was a really nice opportunity to understand that uh, the things that you design on the laptop, uh, on the digital way, at the end you can see like in the real life. It looks really, really nice. And I think you had a lot of people already playing that game. Yeah. Are you also able to win something? Or? Of course, of <laughs> course. The people that play at this game uh, at the beginning can won this 
pencil called uh, wood pencil and uh, they also have some seeds here that of course they can plant in the garden or in the yard and also for uh, the better players uh, the like uh, the masters of this <laughs> game they can want the baby tree also can respect very well the mentality of delta and the greener point that delta every day try to follow to go through in the next generation of technologies and uh, green solutions. That sounds very cool. Um, actually, I really want to play one time. Is of it possible? Course, of course you can. You have okay. to do that. So let's play Go when you're ready. Okay, let's see. Oh my God, that was so fast. Yes. Let's see if I can give it a try. No. No? Ooh. Oh, yeah. here we go. What is that? Here Delta a offers a full range of EV charging solutions from AC to DC. These fulfill the needs to different applications, yeah. ranging from residential to commercial and public charging. Okay. Yeah. This is just a small explanation about EV charging solution from Delta. But I suggest you, if you want to learn much more about that, to ask to my colleague Stefan over there. Oh, okay. Let's see. Perhaps I can find Stefan. Yeah. Thank you very much. You're Andrea. welcome. Have a nice day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Sustainability is at the heart of everything we do at Delta. Let's meet Stefan, our product manager for home charging applications, and get some more insights from our innovations we have at Delta. Hello, Denise. Hi. Thank you. I read an interesting in, um, statistic in the last days for, according to the Federal Statistical Office in Germany, round about 680 million tons, metric tons of carbon dioxide have been emitted due to combustion road traffic in the year 2020 in the European Union. These are approximately 30% of the total emission of carbon dioxide in the year 2020 in the EU. This means the the combustion or the, the road traffic sector needs to bring down the CO2 emissions to meet the, the climate goals in the next years significantly. We think battery electrical vehicles are really the game changer here. So we of course cannot charge EVs from with electricity from burning fossil fuels. Of course EVs need to run on energy with energy from renewable energy resources. And here exactly come our product in the game. We have PV inverters that harvest energy from the root rooftop solar power that can then directly charge to the electrical vehicle with our EV charging solutions so that the transportation in the future can really be from renewable energies and not from burned fossil fuels that are then transmitted over long distance power lines and so on. So it's really a, a, a production of the energy on site, stored in the car and for, for green transportation. Many people were talking about product efficiency today at the booth. Now I would like to know why is it so important for them? Yeah, product efficiency is really the key. When we talk about efficiency, we have always to consider two things. The first thing is, of course, we want to use the available energy for something specific. So we do not want to burn it into heat. We just want to really use it in the regards of EV charging to come from one place to the other place. So if we talk about, for example, EV charging with 100 kilowatt, and we have a change, an increase of the product efficiency from 93 to 96%, it means that we already save three kilowatt in electrical power that we would just burn instead of using it for the transportation. So it's the equivalent of running two fan heaters, for example, that, yeah. Um, the second point is the total cost of ownership for our customers, for the operators of the EV chargers. Because if you save this energy, of course, you need to pay not to pay it on the electricity bill. For a big EV charger running frequently every day, a couple of hours, this savings can immediately end up to a couple of hundred euros per, per year. So it's really about having a, a cost efficient, but also electrical efficient product. 
We've spoken to many interesting people and mix of different cultures at our booth today. How is it like to work with all of these people around the world? Yeah, Denise, let me share an example of my typical working day. So if I start working in the morning, my colleagues in Asia are already on site, already working. So normally in the morning hours, I have very much contact with them, talking about customer requirements, how we address them in our products and so on. Later in the day, then the collaboration with the team in Europe, maybe supporting our sales guys in customer calls, talking about their requirements, what, how they see the market and so on. This can happen all over Europe. We have sales guys in, in Finland, in France, in the different countries. And then of course we have also some internal alignment, team members sitting in the Netherlands, for example, for marketing purpose and so on. So there is a lot of exchange with people coming from different uh, countries, sitting in different countries, from different cultures. It's, from my personal point of view, really a, a personal gain to have this experience. This sounds very interesting and it can really support what you're just saying. I experience the same every day. Um, but now I also wonder, you know, we spoke a lot about our technologies at Delta today, but this booth also has to be designed and built up somehow. So I would really like to see somebody from our marketing department and her, hear from them what they are doing and how they prepared to set up the whole show. Let's move on. I just spotted my colleague Fidan from the Netherlands and let's see what she can tell me. Hi Fidan. Hi Denise. Hi. We are just talking about designs at the booth and looks very nice. And I think okay. you can tell me a little bit more about your work and your daily life at Delta. Sure. I've been working at Delta for four years and during this time I've been incredibly lucky to be part of so many projects such as website, digital platforms, CSR and ESG events as well as the design. And as you can see on this wall that I helped to design, it mentions 32 green buildings and two green data centers. And of course, as you can see, we have a new slogan introduced at this booth, which is realizing intelligent, sustainable and connecting world. That sounds so interesting. And I think not only the designs of the walls are important. I can believe there must be somebody and some people behind the scenes as well. Shall we go and find them? Sure, let's go. Okay, let's go, come on. Where is he? I think he's right over there. Oh, I can see him already. Hi, Shen. Hi, Shen. Hey, hey, hi. How are you? I'm good, how are you? How is this exhibition, I'm just wondering? It's going well, as you can see, I'm real proud of this. And can you let me know a bit more about our booth and the exhibition at all? Sure, just, I've been working on this project for a little while. I'll be happy to tell you more. Uh, so at Hanover Besser, I think our company will want to showcase our competence in the industrial uh, field. So here we have multiple business from our company, including industrial automation, EV charging, building automation, and more. Okay, that sounds very interesting. And I learned a lot already today about mm -hmm. all our colleagues and also what they are doing here at the booth. But I think that what you just said, this is a big effort to design the whole booth and to set it up. Can you let me know a bit more about that? Yeah, sure. So to be honest, this really doesn't come from myself only. It's such a big project. And I have to say everyone from Delta, they have contributed to here. The booth you can see is a common effort from everyone. So from the design, from the idea, from the construction, everyone works so hard on this. Yeah, I think that's the power behind Delta, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for joining us today to meet all my colleagues and all the Delta booths and get to know all the effort we did and spent and introduce you to the team behind the scenes. And now I would really like to invite you to join us next year as well and to find out more about the people behind Delta. Goodbye.